bolt from the creative minds of Disney. First, let me just say that this game should have been called Dog of War, because that's pretty much what this game is. This game isn't what most movie games are, since you're actually playing in one of Bolt's movies. In the game, you get to play as Penny, a James Bond wannabe girl, and Bolt, which is Kratos' dog reincarnated form. As Penny, you get to sneak around and go invisible, bash enemies over the head, and defy the laws of gravity by using a scooter multi-tool thing by sliding down electrical wires and a pulse. Oh, and to prove how lazy Penny is, she'll even use her toy to zoom up ladders instead of walking up them like a normal person. Personally, I would fly, but that's just me. You can also hack into the computers as that little wrench. The hacking system is retro, and I mean retro. Like that old asteroid game we used to play in the arcade. However, unlike that old asteroid game, you can die and keep coming back because you have no lives. Now it's time for Bolt. Let me just say that he is one pissed off little dog. All you really need to know about this fucking little dog is that he's Kratos, reincarnated form. I'm not even fucking kidding. Don't get me wrong, Bolt isn't invincible or anything. He can die, which makes you have to start the mission all over again. Pain in the ass, really. Remember when I said that Bolt hates fucking everything? Well, he does. Even the environment. I'm not kidding. He destroys rocks, trees, statues, humans, plants, animals, helicopters. You name it, he fucks everything up. Overall, it's a pretty fun game. This game does have a weird difficulty curve, though. One part's really easy, the other part's fucking hard. Overall, I give this game five Dragon Balls out of seven. Look familiar. What? Yeah, he's real good with the faces and such. I gotta remember, it's gonna kill me. Hold on. No, I don't know. I, I, I thought I knew.